Oh shit. What the fuck was with that smile? See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and I make regular reaction and review videos. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video from my channel. And also the uncut version of this video and everything up until this point for the MCU is available on Patreon, along with Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and much, much more if that's something that interests you. But before I get stuck into this movie, I wanna quickly shout out Ryan Ernst for sponsoring these MCU movies and for being my MCU Knowledge Bank, my advisor. Thank you so much, Ryan. Everything you do for this channel is super appreciated and I cannot thank you enough. I'm excited to see what happens after Endgame, the results of Tony's sacrifice and what the world looks like after getting rid of Thanos. I think that they'll definitely address that. I wanna see how Peter's doing now that his pseudo dad is kinda out of the picture completely. Hopefully they give us an update on how Pepper's doing as well. I don't really know. I don't expect to see Pepper or Morgan. I don't know who to expect to see except Spider-Man. I was initially going to watch this after WandaVision but Ryan did let me know that it was quite important to watch this film before WandaVision and I have five days until WandaVision actually is available for me so I thought why the hell not and without further ado let's get watching. Locals say the cyclone had a face. Oh, people see things when they're under stress. Okay that does not mean that this is the start to some other Big world. <gasps> oh shit, spoke too soon. <laughs> Whoa, Jake Gyllenhaal. Who are you? Huh? And who? Who else? Oh shit, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Don't. <laughs> these, are, these are the guys that died for realsies. No take backs, but they forgot Gamora. But she's not an Avenger, but still, she's awesome. Gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> but our classmates that didn't blip had grown five years older. Wow. My little brother is now older than me. Yeah, it's Matt. That's crazy. And at five, I'm gonna tell her how I feel. Okay, he has a uh, new crush. Oh, don't forget step seven. Step seven. Don't do any of that. <laughs> Why? Because we're gonna be bachelors in Europe, Peter. Ned, look. Uh, oh my God, Ned. Europeans love Americans. Really? And more than half of them are women. That's not true. Sure. Europeans okay. don't love Americans. I really like MJ, man. Okay. <gasps> MJ! Mary Jane. Hey, sorry, <gasps> John Favreau. Happy. Happy. Oh, you look lovely. I don't really want to talk to Nick Fury. Hey, because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. Well, why don't you want to talk to him? Because I'm scared. Just answer the phone. Oh, happy scared. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so sorry. I thought that you could sense that with your Peter Tingle. Please do not start calling it my Peter Tingle. Oh my lord. It sounds like a Peter Tingle sounds wrong. Just saying. It's like the buses you're used to, except it flies over the poor neighborhood. God, I hate this guy. Ma'am? He blipped, so technically he's 16, not 21. I'll take that. <laughs> She's lying. I don't even know this girl. <laughs> Classic MJ, right? What? He's allergic to perfume? Yeah, yeah, because um, <laughs> it, it makes his eyes water, and he can't really see oh. if he has a perfume allergy. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Perfume allergy, but no joke. Oh, Peter, my God. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, this is exactly what he didn't want. Oh. <laughs> hey babe, can you hold this for me please? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Oh my god. The audacity. What was that? <laughs> Uh, well, we actually got to talk about Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? What happened to your bachelor plan? Whatever happened to being an American bachelor? Uh-huh. You know, those were the words of a boy. Oh, my God. Come here, babe. Oh, my God. They're already calling each other babe. It's perfect. How lovely. <laughs> Shit.
Happy's there. Yeah, it's Happy. He's here, and he wants to say hi. Hi, Peter. <laughs> hey, Happy. <laughs> He's sus. He's sus. What are you doing? I'm glad you're having a good time. Don't worry, I'm really taking oh care of Oh my you. goodness. There's there's something going on there. I'm happy for happy. It reminds me when Benny and I first fell in love. I had just what? lost my fruit cobbler, right? <laughs> like what, two minutes ago? Oh. You're very difficult to <gasps> contact. Nicholas! You can't be you can't be tranquilizing children. So that canal water today was filled with dangerous bacteria. Another person touches that door, you and I are going to attend another clinic. <laughs> Stark left these for you. Really? That's nice. Oh, his glasses. His super cool glasses. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 83. Okay. This is getting a little bit Rick and Morty territory. Doctor Strange. Unavailable. Captain Marvel. Don't invoke her name. <laughs> Don't invoke her name. Dimitri, take him back to the hotel, please. Dimitri looks super scary. <laughs> I think Nick Fury just hijacked or something. <laughs> um, uh... Oh my lord. Dimitri! So he made you for me? No, but you have access to all of Tony's protocol. Wow. What a privilege. What a privilege. Can you imagine? I'm Peter Parker. Take off your clothes. Oh! <gasps> what the heck? Take off your clothes. Okay. <laughs> so demanding. Oh! No, no, no. Uh, don't. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, sorry. Oh! Uh, I thought this was the bathroom. This is not what it looks like. Just. Oh my God! Oh no! Is he a target? Uh oh! No. A target? Oh. No. Yeah, he's a target. He's a target. Target is Brad Davis. Initiate. Oh no. Initiating what now? Releasing pill vehicle. <gasps> oh no! What the fuck? What is he, with his tech always wanting to kill immediately? Karen was like that too. Put your fanny in that seat and buckle up right now. <laughs> Look at the baby mountain goat. Baby mountain goat. Oh shit, dude. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That was fucking insane. I know you think none of us have noticed, Peter, but your new look, I love it. Uh, right, babe? Uh, yeah. yeah, he actually does look really good. You were not ready for this. Ouch. Well, Fury asked me to come up here and see how you're doing. Really? Mm. You guys do have sarcasm on this earth, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So he didn't actually care. It's really nice to have somebody to talk to about superhero stuff you know oh if we survive this we'll have all summer to kill brad <laughs> uh if you go ahead i'll go grab us a pair i'll save you a seat next to me because i'm also out of seats so i'll be up there oh they're both so awkward that's why they're perfect for each other <laughs> how's the suit uh the suit's great it's awesome wow black spider-man Oh, that is way, that's way worse than a tsunami. I, I think volcanoes are the worst because people get burnt to a crisp. What's, it, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, uh, night, night monkey. Night monkey? Yeah. yeah. Night monkey, help! Night, night monkey. Save us! Oh my night god. Monkey, we're stuck! Oh, no, no. Help us! Help! Night monkey, Jesus. Whatever happens, I'm glad we met. Aww. Beck! What are you doing? Oh what shit. I have done last time. Oh. He's using his unlimited power. Don't do it. Did he just sacrifice himself? Oh shit, the monster's turning green. It's actually really beautiful. It's that was stunning, even though it was tragic. I would totally kiss you, but I think I just threw up in my mouth a little. Ew. <laughs> oh. I, I, I might have a mint. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Are those the Edith glasses? Yeah, they were just on the floor. Oh, dude. That's a multi billion dollar technology that you're holding in your hand. 
I'd like to transfer your control over to Quentin Beck. Peter, what are you doing? <sighs> doing the right thing. Welcome to the Avengers. That was quick. What are we? We're like an hour into this movie and we have a new Avenger. And I'm not mad about it because I like Jake Gyllenhaal and I do like Mysterio's attitude. It's refreshing. He's not obsessed over himself. He's not an arsehole, you know, arrogant. He's sweet. Whoa. What the hell is going on? Oh shit. What the fuck was with that smile? See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> Somebody get this stupid oh costume my god! Are you shitting me? Oh, I'm such a naive idiot. I knew that was too easy. I was like, we're an hour into this. Tony Stark <gasps> Shit. Mysterio will be the greatest hero on earth. Oh my lord. I kind of want to do something fun. Oh good. Not on the itinerary or planned or with Mr. Harrington. Yes. Oh. Yes, like you want to go? Yes. Oh. Okay, awesome. Uh, I'll see you outside in 10 minutes. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> she was hoping for him to ask her. MJ, I... I'm Spider-Man. What? No. I'm not Spider-Man. I mean, I've been watching you for like a while now. She is. She she did allude to the fact that she was stalking him in the first Spider-Man movie. It was the Night Monkey. The Night Monkey? Yeah, that's <laughs> what it said on the news. And the news never lies. Oh no, never. Just like the news. <gasps> oh! I am Spider-Man. Uh, I was I was only like 67% uh, sure. Uh, MJ. So why why are you here? <laughs> I am trying to fool seven billion people here, including Nick Fury. And if he catches on before I've killed him, <gasps> put a bullet in my head. And nobody wants a bullet in their head, right? Right? Oh shit. William, can you look at me after I've had to kill Peter Parker because of this? I hope you remember that his blood is on your hands. Oh my god. It's Beck. He's here. What? Hill? <gasps> no, no, he's just in a... <gasps> oh! Fury! Oh no! Oh, don't fuck with him. Don't fuck with him with MJ. Peter? I know this isn't real. Do you though? Oh no, don't do that to him. Oh man. Maybe Tony would still be alive. Oh, don't say that. That's a dick thing to say. Oh. No, that's no, that's not true at all. You have Oh shit. Oh! Oh, wow! Who else did you tell? Oh, I just Ned and MJ for my classes. Oh, no. What? You are so... He's so stupid. <gasps> speak really good English. Yeah. Welcome to the Netherlands. <laughs> I'm in the Netherlands right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. You're free! Everybody! Yeah. Yeah. Night monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Happy, is that you? Is it me? Yeah, of course it's me. Stop! Tell me something only you would know. You pay per viewed a video in your room. They didn't list the titles, but I could tell by the price it was an adult film at <laughs> the front desk, and you didn't know how long. <laughs> okay, oh my God! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Everywhere I go, I see his face. The whole world is asking who's going to be the next Iron Man. You're not Iron Man. You're never going to be Iron Man. <laughs> Nobody could live up to Tony. Oh, gosh. I need tissues. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. Oh, I miss Tony, too. You take care of the suit. I'll take care of the music. Oh, I love Led Zeppelin. 
Oh, it's... It's... Isn't it? No, it's ACDC, isn't it? Brad, why do you think it's cool to take pictures of people in the bathroom? Yeah, dude. What's that about? No, no, it wasn't like that. It was... Uh... Yeah, exactly. Called out. Called out. I don't like this. Something's definitely up. You're an FOS now. <laughs> Friend of Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> it is working. Well, I don't, I don't know good. if it's working. Okay, so you got Peter Tingle. That's the plan. Oh my god. <laughs> He's calling it the Peter Tingle too. Mr. Dillon, I have it under control. No, no, no. Okay. Don't drag me into this rock. I'm doing my best, Julius. <laughs> we need to have a serious conversation about you and my ass. <laughs> Happy's not looking forward to that. Peter's a smart kid. He knows. It's drawing energy from the Earth's core. See, now that's some bullshit. <laughs> you got me? Wow. I gotcha. Nice! Awesome. I love Maria Hill. <laughs> oh, wow! Yes, MJ! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How does Jack do that? <laughs> I wish that my life playing video games and we're gonna die. <laughs> I have a fake ID. I never even used it. I post stupid videos daily for people to like me. Hey, Aww. if it wasn't for those stupid videos, Spider-Man would have never found you. But if it follows me, I saved this guy. <laughs> you saved us and why are we about to die? MJ, oh God. God. <laughs> Sorry, okay? Listen, I'm obsessed with telling the truth even if it hurts other people's feelings. I'm in love with Spider-Man's aunt. <gasps> We're sharing, right? <laughs> oh, I love Happy. You want these? He's not gonna give them to you. Come and get them. When you're ready, come and get it. Na 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 na. Come on, Peter Tingle. <laughs> Peter Tingle. <laughs> He's on board with it now. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Go, Peter! That's fucking epic, dude. That's awesome. No fire! All oh. No! He's a psychopath. Stark was right. You do deserve that. He's lying again. Ah! Oh! You can't trick me anymore. Wow! I did not see that coming. Execute them all. Confirmed. Oh, thank God! Wow! Oh. Is everybody else okay? They're so sweet. He gave me this. Oh. No. Oh, it's. I wrote it all down, and I was gonna buy you this. I gave it to you. Oh. Goosebumps. And then you kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward teenage kiss. Better. Better. I need to speak with him. He'll call you. He'll call. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, get back home. Yeah, I mean, it's not like anybody really pays attention to you. Except for me. Ouch. Except for me. How did I know she was gonna say that? <laughs> Know, like going on a double date or something. Oh, we, we broke up. up. What? what? Why? Men and women grow apart, but the journey they share together will always be a part of them. Oh. <laughs> you are so wise. Thank you. Wow. They're very cordial. I like that. Hello, Gerald. Could mother not make it? Oh, well, I can see why he's an asshole. Are you dating? Yes. <gasps> what? Yes, that evolves and grows like I still don't any know where other it's going to go. people. We'll always be friends, no matter what. Who are all <gasps> uh oh, <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You're gonna love this. Oh wow, what a date! <laughs> I stop looking. Oh, oh how cute! <laughs> 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 That is hilarious. Okay. Spider-Man attacked me for some reason. He has an army weaponized drone, Stark technology. He's saying <gasps> what a dick. No one else. There will be significant casualties. Do it. 
Execute them all. <gasps> On the controversial news website, thedailybugle.net. The Daily Bugle? Hey! I know that man. As the greatest superhero of all time. Excuse me? Spider-Man's real name is... <gasps> oh! Spider-Man's oh, name no. Oh, is no. Peter Parker. Oh my god, he's been outed! Holy shit! <gasps> you gotta tell me. Oh... It really kind of went off the rails, and so we need you to come back, because everyone kept asking me where the Avengers are, and I don't know what to say to that. Oh, so. he's... <gasps> there he is! Tahiti? No. It's an illusion. Oh, I was about to feel really happy for him. So we can have like a mini vacation every morning. <laughs> Dedicated with love and thanks to Tom Stanley and S. Deet Co. Rest in peace, Stan. Wow, okay guys, so I actually enjoyed this movie a lot more than I thought I would enjoy it. Maybe it's my Tobey Maguire bias and the fact that I grew up with Spider-Man being Tobey Maguire. I'll admit though, I'm really loving Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I think that he has the right amount of awkwardness, cuteness, geekiness, politeness, care, everything that makes Peter Parker Peter Parker, Tom Holland nails it. And I also think that Zendaya as MJ is perfect. I think they have incredible chemistry. They really, really work well as an on-screen couple. I was thinking when I watched Spider-Man Homecoming that MJ would have been a better love interest for him. But as it turns out, she became the love interest in Far From Home and I'm a lot happier with that. I think because she was the love interest in this film, I liked it a lot more. I didn't really know where they were going and I didn't expect them to stay true to the original Spider-Man that we know with Tobey Maguire, but I'm glad that they did. And I think Zendaya was a perfect choice for casting. I also loved seeing Happy again and the fact that Happy is happy with Peter Parker's aunt. I thought that was really sweet. I'm a little bit concerned though, because I don't really know why the scrolls were impersonating Fury and Hill, um, but I think a lot of those questions will hopefully be answered in WandaVision because WandaVision is set after the Avengers Endgame movie takes place. So I feel like we'll get some answers there. And you guys know how much I love Europe, so I do have to talk about their choice of filming location. Loved it. Obviously, loved seeing Venice, loved seeing, loved seeing Berlin. I love seeing Prague. I think this concept was really unique to me and I certainly didn't see it coming, especially with Mysterio because he seems like such a nice guy despite the fact that he was wearing green and despite the fact that his powers shone green. I love Jake Gyllenhaal as an actor, so I think he did that role really well. He does every role really well, let's be honest, but he played the villain really well. Most of the time when I see Jake Gyllenhaal, he's never really playing the antagonist, so it was different and it was nice to see how he would be in that kind of role. I think now that Mysterio has revealed Spider-Man as Peter Parker, the next Spider-Man movie is going to be that much more interesting. I think that the stakes are really high for poor Peter and he needs to probably skedaddle. I imagine he'll be on the run. I don't know if he'll take MJ with him. It'll be an adventure for sure. I'm excited for it. I'm here for it. And I did talk about this during my reaction video right after Peter walked away and gave Edith to um, Mysterio is that he wants a little bit of normalcy in his life considering all the trauma that this 16 year old boy went through. He was 15 at the time when he experienced everything that went on in Endgame and that's a lot for a kid to take on. Uh, I don't imagine that he would want the same fate as his mentor, pseudo dad. And I loved the fact that they dealt with the aftermath of Endgame because a lot of shit went down. Things changed as they touched on in the beginning with the blip uh, that's kind of a huge deal and it's a very confusing thing to be dealing with alongside the death of a lot of people you worked with and a lot of people you knew which was really hard and I think that Tom Holland really captured those emotions perfectly he's obviously a lot older than his character he still has that baby face and that innocence so you still empathize with him as a teenage boy and I think that's what sets Tom Holland apart from Tobey Maguire Tobey Maguire did not look like a teenager and I've said that before as well 
He definitely looked like he was in his 20s and so did MJ and so did Harry. And so this is extremely different because I really, really feel the vulnerability both physically and emotionally and mentally that Tom Holland brings to the character of Peter Parker. So I really enjoyed this movie. I think there was a lot of funny and cute moments in this and I think there was a lot of deep moments and emotional moments and a lot of action. I think the pacing was quite good as well. I think the concept was really interesting as well with the drones and the illusion. The fact that there is an entire organization of people who Tony Stark rubbed off in the wrong way. Typical Tony, his past always creeping back up on him and always screwing things up for people in the future that uh, that don't really deserve it. But it was a nice callback because this time they use scenes that we have already seen in the MCU movies. Whereas I feel like with Killian as a villain that much because he kind of came out of nowhere and then all of a sudden he became this crazy villain that hated Tony Stark and just went really, really, really overboard. Jake Gyllenhaal on the other hand was a little bit more believable because he didn't actually want to harm Peter Parker he just wanted to be a superhero that people needed he only really wanted to kill Nick Fury so there is a bit of a point of difference with Mysterio compared with Killian um, who I didn't really like as a villain so those were all of my thoughts on Spider-Man Far From Home let me know what you thought in the comment section below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it it really does help my channel out if you're interested in the uncut version of this video and all of the MCU Star Wars Lord of the Rings and much much more check out the description bar because I always link my Patreon account over there. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!